the school board and superintendent of St. Lucie Public Schools congratulates the class of 2020. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good afternoon, distinguished guests, staff, family, friends, and most importantly, graduates. And welcome to the St. Lucie Acceleration Academy Spring Graduation Ceremony. We have all found ourselves operating in a virtual environment for quite some time now, so it seems fitting that this momentous occasion follows suit. To say that the last few months have been trying is an understatement, but many of you have had to overcome all sorts of challenges and obstacles to get where you are today. While your educational journey may not have always followed the straightest path, you've managed to keep your eye on the prize, your high school diploma. You've proven yourselves to be tenacious, a trait that will serve you well throughout your lives. But what does that word mean? According to Merriam-Webster, it means persistent in maintaining, adhering to, or seeking something valued or desired. You can also call it grit. Angela Duckworth describes grit as passion and sustained persistence applied toward long-term achievement with no particular concern for rewards or recognition along the way. It combines resilience, ambition, and self-control in the pursuit of goals that take months, years, or even decades. Throughout your trials and tribulations, whether they be struggling with a traditional school schedule, having to work to help your family, or being a young mom, you've shown a great stick to itness. In my opinion, this is the most important trait an individual can possess. It will serve you well throughout your life. You'll always be able to look back on your high school career and realize that you made it. You made it through what can be the most difficult time for any young person and came out with something no one can ever take from you, your high school diploma. You've opened doors for yourself that will never close, given yourself more opportunities than you had just a few months ago. But don't stop here. Don't think this is enough. You got this far, push further. Push yourself outside of your comfort zones. Use your tenacity and grit to overcome whatever obstacles still stand in your way now or may present themselves down the road. The world is very different than it was just a few weeks ago, but so are you. You are now a high school graduate. Your passion and persistence will keep you good company as you maneuver through this uncertain time. Use them to your advantage. Use them to seek out new challenges, new experiences, new circumstances to become even more than you believed you could be. And remember what I always tell you, you got this. Please welcome at this time, Superintendent E. Wayne Gent. To the class of 2020, on behalf of the school board, I want to congratulate you on your achievements. I want you to know that I share in your disappointment that we are not together live with your graduating class in one venue. The district remains committed to having a graduation ceremony this summer if it is safe to do so. Jim Collins, the author of the book Good to Great, and his colleague Morton Hansen co-authored a book entitled Great by Choice. The authors analyze what makes the world's best companies thrive, even in the most uncertain and chaotic times. Chapter one is entitled, Thriving in Uncertainty. And the authors pose the following question. Why do some companies thrive in uncertainty and even chaos, and other companies do not? I wanna quote a line from the first chapter, quote, None of us can predict with certainty the twists and turns our lives will take. Life is uncertain, the future unknown. This is neither good or bad, 
It just is, like gravity. Yet the task remains how to master our own fate. End of quotes. So graduates, throughout your lifetime, and even before you were born, there have been many tumultuous events that have shaken our country and our world. The 9-11 terrorist attacks, the 2008 stock market crash, polarizing politics, technological changes, global competition, and now COVID-19, when it seems that our basic needs are being threatened. Through all this chaos and disorder, some leaders and companies have thrived. Collins and Hansen state it's because of three things. Number one, these companies don't merely react, they create. Number two, these companies don't merely survive, they prevail. And number three, they don't merely succeed, they thrive. The authors go on to say that an organization's greatness depends on what people do and not on its environment. Success isn't the result of luck and circumstances, but success is the result of the discipline required to get it done. So what does this have to do with you, a graduating senior? It is my belief that these principles not only apply to great leaders and organizations, but to all of us, especially in these uncertain times. My challenge to you is this. Seniors, don't merely react but create, contribute, and produce. And seniors don't merely survive, prevail, overcome, and triumph. And finally, seniors don't merely succeed, thrive, flourish, and prosper. Congratulations to the class of 2020. My name is Morgan Goodner, and I attended the Port St. Lucie Acceleration Academy. I've always wanted to earn my high school diploma, but the traditional school setting just never worked out for me. When I started at Acceleration Academy, I struggled a little bit, but the staff was always there to help me along. At times, I found it hard to stay motivated. My grandpa was a huge support for me, and when he passed away, I found the drive I needed to get back in school. I knew that it would make him proud to see me graduate. Today, I'm a high school graduate. I pushed through all the obstacles for my family, my son, and myself. I stepped over the past and into my future. Giving up was never an option for me, even when it seemed to be like the easiest thing to do. Acceleration Academy has opened new doors for me and I no longer ride in the back seat. Now I drive my future. To my classmates, don't give up. You're almost there. To the staff at Acceleration Academy, thank you for giving me a second chance at earning my high school diploma. Mr. Gent, distinguished members of the school board, as principal of Acceleration Academy, I present to you the graduating class of 2020. I certify that they have met the graduation requirements of the school board of St. Lucie County and the state of Florida. You may award their diplomas at this time. Please prepare to call the class roll. Kevin Abodandolo. Monica Augustine Gonzalez. With Nelson Alexis. Rosemary Alonzo. Bernie Belazare. Jacqueline Bernal. Nigi Bertrand. Zakari Boatwright. Alexander Boruki, Cyril Boutros, Moses Briggs, Tavares Calhoun, Alyssa Kaminsky, Matthew Corso, Jerome Deckel, Isidoro De La Paz, Gabriel Duncan, Kyle Dutton, Shanice Farrell, Antonio Fields, Estefany Gamez, Anthony Garcia, 
Morgan Goodner. Howard Gukel. Xavier Hanna. Tyler Harris. Justin Hurlbert. Fadalyn Jacques. Jakira Jenkins. Damian Johnson. Matthew Johnson. Jason Joseph. Dontavius Kinney. Jessica Leroy. Raquel Martin. Nichelle Menendez. Isaiah Mills. Lauren Mitchell. Gerardo Morabal Lopez. Matthew Murphy. Silvana Nunez. Randy Pentoja. Nicholas Poltranieri. Isaiah Raming. Arturo Ramirez Meija. Alexis Sampson. Christopher Stellis. Ivan Yerkujo. Tanisha Virgil. Clefania Volsi. Amara Wickman. Amaya Williams. Mr. Gent, I present the Acceleration Academy graduating class of 2020. Graduates of St. Lucie Public Schools, they await your confirmation. I confirm you as graduates. Please turn your tassels.